Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will take a look at count functions available in Excel. To follow along with me, make sure you have a copy of this file downloaded using the link in the video description. There are three worksheets. The first two is where I will demonstrate and the last one, do it, is for you to practice. Let's begin. The first one on our list is count function. This function comes in very handy when you would like to take count of numbers in a given range. For example, I go ahead type in count, select the function from the list using the arrow keys on the keyboard and press tab on my keyboard to complete the function. Now, I would like to select this range and press enter on my keyboard. It will only count the cells where there are numbers and nothing else. What if I want to count everything in that range, including numbers, text, and anything which is not blank? Count A will come in very handy in that situation. Press equal to count A, select the function, press tab on the keyboard to complete the function, and select that range. Press enter on the keyboard. It will count everything that is not blank in that given range. And if I would like to count only the blank cells, count blank will serve the purpose. Let's do it. Press equal to on the keyboard, type in count, select the function using the arrow keys on the keyboard, press tab to complete the function. Select the range, press enter on the keyboard. It will count only the cells that are blank. Now let us take a look at other functions that are logical in nature. These functions will take more than one parameter. Here you have to pass in two or more parameters based on the function. For example, the count if function, it will take two parameters. The first one is the range. Where do you want to count? Second one is when do you want to count based on certain condition. Let's take a close look. I place my selection on count if cell equal to count if I select that function using the arrows on the keyboard and press tab on my keyboard to complete that function. The first argument that I need to pass is the range. This is the range I want it to count inside. And what do I count? Whenever an instance that says passed should be counted. So I will pass that text string inside double quotations and then close the bracket. The first argument says I need to count in a specific range. And the second argument says count it when you see certain string or certain condition. Now, if I press enter, it will give me the count of all the instances where it says passed. Similarly, the count ifs function will take more than one type of condition. For example, you can give a same set more than once. Let's take a close look. I press equal to on my keyboard and type in count, select count if function, press tab on the keyboard to complete it. Now I will have to give the range, the first range. This is the first range I want to count inside. And based on what criteria, each time it says passed, it should be counted. Then I need to pass the second criteria, second criteria range. This is the range I want to count inside. And based on what, what condition, I will pass that condition in double quotations any time where the value is more than 70 should be counted. Now I close the bracket. So we have two ranges. First range where the count will happen only when the past instance is found. And the second range will be counted when the value is more than 70. So both conditions should match. It should be passed as well as it should be more than 70. Now if I press enter, you can see there are only three instances where we have these conditions meeting. Let me demonstrate count ifs function one more time to make it more clearer to you. In this set of data, I have employees records and I would like to count type of employee employees in each department. I need to count by starting the count function, count ifs. What is the first criteria range? I need to check inside department list and count anywhere where it says this department. Then I press comma. What is the second criteria range? I need to select the staff type. And then inside staff type, what do I want to check? I would like to check whether it is an employee. So an employee from business development department if these two matches, only then that count will be taken into consideration. Now let me close the bracket and press enter. You can see we have only one employee that meets that condition. If I drag this down, I will have counters from other departments where 
we have staff type employee. I hope this is clear to you. I would request you to take this sheet and do as much practice as you can. Take different types of variations. Don't just stick to what I am showing here. Try to make your own variations and do as much practice as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to continue learning with Sayed. Thank you so much. Until next time.